In today's cartoon story joke, we meet Bernie, a bumbling burglar whose name alone is a recipe for disaster. Imagine a guy who trips over air and forgets where he puts his keys, which, ironically, wouldn't be a bad skill for a burglar to have. Bernie, fueled by dreams of flat-screen TVs and enough video games to make him the envy of the neighborhood kids, bungles his way into a house. But instead of riches, he finds himself in a scene straight out of a silent movie gone wrong. All right, all right, hold on to your valuables. Before we delve into the hilarious world of bumbling burglars, let's get a crash course in Break-In 101. Though hopefully you'll never need this knowledge, unless you're planning a hilarious heist comedy sketch. Burglary, basically snooping gone wrong. Think of a burglar as a bad roommate who forgets boundaries, except instead of stealing your milk, they take your entire TV. Historically, burglary was a nighttime sneak-in, but these days, burglars are like ninjas with terrible time management. Any time is go time. They use all sorts of crazy tricks to get in. Some pretend to be delivery people. Hint, real delivery people don't come at 2 a.m. Some contort themselves like human pretzels to squeeze through vents, and some get all techy, hacking locks like they're in a spy movie. Spoiler alert, they're not. So here's how to stop them. Bright lights, big city, keep burglars out. Light up your house like a disco ball. Burglars hate the spotlight more than a bad online review if those existed. Door on guard duty. Get a strong door with a deadbolt lock. Makes breaking in way less appealing and way more exercise for them. No free tours. Don't let strangers in, no matter how convincing their disguise. Nosy neighbors are the best neighbors. Friendly neighbors scare burglars away faster than you can say security system. Remember, a little prevention is worth a lot less crying over stolen stuff. So, fortify your fort, no moat necessary, and keep those bumbling burglars at bay. Now, enough chit-chat. Let's kick right to the joke. A panicked couple, clad in mismatched pajamas and sporting expressions that could curdle milk, are, well, let's just say Bernie makes a hilarious first impression. Will Bernie finally get his haul? Will the couple escape their predicament? Get ready to laugh out loud as this story takes a side-splitting turn. Our intrepid burglar, Bernie, because a name like Bernie conjures images of a slightly bewildered accountant, not a criminal mastermind, fumbled through the window like a baby giraffe learning to walk. Visions of flat-screen TVs and enough video games to open his own arcade danced in his head. But instead of riches, the sight that greeted him was more like a poorly lit silent film gone wrong. A tangled couple, clad in mismatched pajamas and expressions that could scare a flock of pigeons, were locked in a... Well, let's just say Bernie initially mistook it for a particularly enthusiastic cuddle session. The ensuing freakout sounded like a particularly dramatic flock of geese auditioning for a horror movie. After a display of authority that wouldn't phase a particularly grumpy goldfish, Bernie managed to secure the couple in a back-to-back -back chair situation that looked less like a hostage negotiation and more like a poorly assembled IKEA seesaw. Now picture this. Bernie, sweating like a birthday cake left out in July, tiptoeing around the house with the grace of a drunken penguin on roller skates. All the while, the increasingly frantic couple watched, well, tried to watch with limited neck mobility from their precarious perch on the stairs. The husband, a man whose fear manifested in a rapid-fire stream of nervous questions, sounded like a malfunctioning smoke detector on helium. His wife, on the other hand, seemed to be channeling her inner librarian with a serious case of overdue book fees, silently mouthing escape plans and glaring at Bernie with enough intensity to melt a plastic spork. The tension was thicker than a week old gym sock, but the real punchline was yet to come. As Bernie, loot bag overflowing with questionable treasures, mostly dusty board games and a slightly chipped porcelain unicorn, finally reached the door, the husband blurted out something that would forever change the course of this hilariously botched burglary. Sir, please untie her. 
please let her go. As Bernie, seriously, that name just screams amateur hour, stashes his loot, mostly dusty board games and a slightly chipped porcelain unicorn. What a haul. The couple on the stairs practically vibrate with silent panic. The husband's eyes dart around like a pinball on Red Bull, silently pleading with Bernie to get a move on. Meanwhile, the wife's glare intensifies, her pursed lips a silent promise of a future world of pain for Bernie if he doesn't hightail it out of there. Bernie, oblivious to the silent symphony of fear playing out before him, puffs out his chest, which mostly pushes the ill-gotten gains in his bag higher, and declares, Not a chance, buddy. You two stay tied up nice and tight till the cops are long gone. But don't worry, I'll leave the front door open so your friendly neighborhood busybodies can check on you tomorrow. The husband, desperate to avoid further complications, practically throws silent telepathic messages at Bernie, offering untold riches if he just lets the woman go. Bernie, completely missing the silent auction, simply shrugs and repeats. Sorry, gotta stick to the plan. No cops, no witnesses. The husband throws his hands up in silent exasperation, then scoots his chair closer to Bernie in a desperate attempt at silent negotiation. His eyes plead, his mouth a silent promise of anything, everything, if Bernie would just let the woman go. Bernie, still oblivious, leans in and pats the husband on the shoulder with a patronizing, Wow, man, you must really love your wife. That's some serious devotion. The husband's face contorts in a silent scream, and then, in a desperate whisper that cuts through the silent tension, he blurts out, No, this is not my wife. My wife is coming home in only a few minutes. <laughs> If you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.